Sound cards. They were the rage for years. And then suddenly, there was a war on them. The world gave up on them. Though Creative didn't. And today marks the release of a new sound card called the A5, which is single-handedly making sound cards cool again. But just how cool is the A5? Well, let's find out. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, this is Brian and today we have a sound card, a PCIe sound card, with a DAC that boasts 122 decibel signal to noise ratio and has 0.00032% total harmonic distortion and has support for 32-bit 384 kHz playback. Extremely good. And this is provided by the ECC ES9016K2M Sabre. So this does all the digital conversions to analog for your ears. However, audio can still sound bad if the amp or amps on board are not up to par. And this is where the sound card really shines. Dual amps, one for each ear. Creative are calling it X amp technology. I'm calling it, I'm blown away by the numbers amp. And here are the crosstalk levels. That's the level of audio leaking from one audio channel into another are the lowest I have ever seen. And then to further test the DAC amp combo here, we have the sweep test to see the frequency response of the sound card. And it was phenomenal. So neutral, so smooth, and no bass roll off at all. Absolutely none. This is an area where this sound card will differ from onboard audio and cheaper audio devices, where on inferior devices, there will be the roll off effect. And having a line like the A5 has on this graph, will give you richer bass for your headphones. And if your headphones support it, a DAC amp combo like this will give you earth-shaking bass because the lower frequencies can now come through. There is also 5.1 sound emulation, a crystallizer, bass enhancement, smart volume, and dialogue sliders. The crystallizer snaps frequencies together and can make certain instruments more pronounced. And I personally don't use it, same with the bass enhancement slider, though the surround emulation, I do like using it when playing role-playing games and it did work well in Players Unknown's Battlegrounds. The smart volume and dialogue tabs are great for watching videos with unbalanced audio or watching movies at nighttime where you don't want to wake everyone up and only need voices to come through. There is also EQ settings that have profiles pre-saved for games like Dota 2, and this is all done via the Soundcore 3D Quadcore Digital Signal Processor. This also functions as the ADC, or Audio to Digital Converter, that processes your mic in or recordings, and testing out the mic input, it was strong as always, though I will let you guys take a listen. Here's what the mic in port will sound like with a V-Motor Boom Pro plugged in with a volume level of 50 at plus 20 dB on the A5 with all effects removed so there's no noise reduction or anything like that. There is also the ability to change your voice via the software to things like an AUK or any other crazy profile there, and there's also the standard noise suppression and echo cancellation available. The mic or line in ports also support up to 24-bit 96 kilohertz recordings. And with 2017 being the year of RGB, Creative have followed suit with having the Outer Edge branding light up with RGB, which is adjustable via the software itself and has many cool effects to change through. And they have also included an RGB header and one RGB lighting strip. Where I feel this is questionable, especially since you already need a Molex connector on the rear of the card, so having another set of wires coming out of your sound card did look a little awkward, at least to me, and most motherboards already have their own RGB headers nowadays anyway. Though ultimately the numbers for this sound card speak for itself. The crosstalk levels, the bar wasn't even moving, output impedance, 1 ohm, supports 16 to 600 ohm impedance, headphones, has lots of power for music, and I couldn't even go halfway up on my V-Motors without going near death. And it features a dual amp design with a DAC that is one of the best out there. So all this comes in at 150 USD retail. So for the money, it is really good if you are an audiophile and looking to have something that doesn't take up any desktop space like an external DAC amp combo would, and this honestly is a DAC amp combo killer for the money and sound quality you're getting, and on top of that, you get all the software too, which is feature packed. Personally, I would have liked to have seen no RGB header and no RGB strip included and reduced the price accordingly, but 2017 is here and so is RGB. 
So the Sound Blaster A5 is bringing sound back to those who need it and or want it. And keep in mind that for the majority of people with sub $100 headphones, onboard audio is still going to be plenty enough. This is a sound card that is designed for those who want the absolute best audio quality for their audio file headphones or speakers. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this review, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below what you think of Creative's new AE5 sound card. Personally, I've been impressed with what has been coming out of Creative's labs lately, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.